Now in this lesson we're looking at simpler number problems. Let's start with some examples. Question 1. Rianne bought a TV for $495, a stereo for $329 and three CDs that cost $14 each. Now she had saved $1,000 for these items and was going to donate anything left over to charity. Oh, good on you, Rianne. Well done. And the question we're asked is, how much was she able to donate? Well, let's see what we've got here. Three CDs that are costing $14 each. So the CDs, to work out the cost of that, we need to multiply. All right, three lots of 14. And that works out to be 42. The other items, though, are singular. So we have the TV for 4 95 Stereo for 329 and the CDs, which are 42. So if we add up those three prices and working that out, we come up with 866. Now let's read back what's happening. She had saved $1,000 and was going to donate anything left over to charity. So we need to work out the change she's going to get back from the 1000 so she's spending 866 so we do the subtraction 1000 and we take away 866 and calculating that we come up with 134 now we're dealing with dollars of course how much can she donate so Rianne was able to give 134 dollars to charity excellent example 2 now, we're told that Stephen read a 138-page book, and it took him three hours. Part A, how much can he read in one hour? Part B, how much can he read in seven hours? Now, let's do part A firstly. How much can he read in one hour? Well, we're given that he can read 138 pages in three hours. So in three hours, 138 pages. We need to work out what happens in one hour. So in one hour, what we need to do is we start off with the 138, but we need to divide it by three, all right? Because the 138 is what happens in three hours. So that's a division. So three into 138, and we work that out, it becomes 46. So we can therefore say that Stephen can read 46 pages in one hour. Part B, how much can he read in seven hours? Well, given that we worked out that he reads 46 pages in one hour, then in seven hours it will be seven lots of 46. So it's a multiplication in this case. And seven times 46 works out to be 322. So we therefore write that Stephen can read 322 pages in seven hours.